What's up guys? It's your girl M and I'm back with a video for you today and today we are gonna go over my book collection. Now I have a lot of books. I I don't know if I have more than like average. I have a lot but I know I, I know there are friends of mine that have like way more books than I do but I love my book collection. I'm very proud of my book collection and my book collection is ever growing. It is growing by the minute by the second because let me show you guys something let me show you something that i do especially with tiktok i just get recommendations all the time i'm on book talk i guess so <laughs> okay mr drama queen i get book recommendations all the time so let me show you guys this let me go I have my Amazon page, where is it? And I have a shopping list, look at this. Books galore. Look at all these. Okay, there's some other like random stuff. But books, more books. <laughs> and more books literally like it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on so yeah I love reading and I love books and honestly home is where the coffee is and the books are and where Abel is I guess too can't forget about this little pouty bear right there <laughs> Now, I wanted to get this filmed earlier, but I got caught up in, in stuff. I started sorting my laundry. Y'all will not believe how much laundry I have to do. Like, you don't even understand. Vaughn does his own laundry. I'm just responsible for my laundry. And when I tell you it's insane, it's, it's insane. Like, I have a lot of loads to, of laundry to do. <laughs> so I got, you know, caught up doing that and then I had lunch and then I had to do the dishes and I had to get the meat thawed. I'm also filming my turkey burger video tonight. I'm making homemade turkey burgers and you guys are going to see my tips and tricks for my turkey burgers. I'm filming that pretty much right after I get done um, doing this. So you guys might hear Vaughn um, go live here shortly. That's fine <laughs> and you might and you'll probably hear him live. Um, when I'm doing the turkey burger video, but that's okay. But without further ado, let's get into these books. I have my first stack right here because I kind of ran out of room in my other <laughs> in my other bookshelf. I might need to get another bookshelf. I really might need to. So I have first things first. I have Cassie David's uh, memoir called No One Asked for This, and actually, I'm gonna show you the front of it. In all of these books I have finished except for The Virgin Suicides. I have not read this yet, but I've seen the movie. Um, Kristen Dunst is in the movie, so I just never read the book and I was interested in reading it and it was like nine bucks on Amazon, so I bought it. <laughs> but this is the next book that I'm reading after I finish the book I'm currently reading. So this is No One Asked For This, Essays by Cassie David. If you guys don't know who Cassie David is, she dated Pete Davidson before he dated Ariana Grande. She went through like a, like a breakup with him. Like they were together for like two years. And then literally like two months after their breakup, Pete was like engaged. <laughs> to Ariana Grande so uh, that's definitely the motivation as to why I got this book because I'm nosy and I wanted to like hear from her side and that was pretty crazy but anyways um Cassie David is Larry David's daughter I don't know if you guys know who Larry David is but Larry David is the creator of Seinfeld and he also has a show on HBO called Curb Your Enthusiasm but and he's a comedian and so this is Cassie David's book and honestly I think it was pretty good um I would maybe check it out at the library I don't know if I would buy it I bought this with a gift card so um that's kind of just up to you guys next we have The Virgin Suicides like I said I haven't read it yet 
Um, I have read Middlesex by this art author, and that was really good. I'll show it to you. I have it, and um, yeah, so Bird and Suicides. I've seen the movie. Maybe some of you have seen the movie, but yeah, I have that. Now this one, oh, also look at my fr best friend Stephanie. So cute, that's us at our friend Abby's wedding. Black Swan Stories by Eve Babbitts. I really love Eve Babbitts. She, this is the first book I've, of, I've ever read of hers, and I wanna get some more of her um, work. She has a really interesting writing style, and I really, really enjoyed this. I highly suggest buying this, Black Swans. It's a bunch of different stories, and it's about Eve Babbitts. She's from LA, has lived in LA her whole life, and she's actually kind of like a, a LA legend, and she just seems like such a cool person. And I think you guys should look into Eve Babbitts. I give this 10 out of 10, Black Swans. I loved it. Three Women by Lisa Tadeo. I'm gonna be honest with you, it took me forever to read this because I kept starting and stopping. It really didn't hold my attention, but in the end it started to pick up and I really enjoyed it. So I would give this maybe like an eight out of 10, but if you need something that's gonna grip you right away, this is not it. It's definitely kind of a slow read in the beginning, but in the end was, um, it ended up being pretty good. And I have on my list of books that I want to get is, um, she has a newer book called Animal, and I definitely want to read that. So, there we go. This is a journal, <laughs> so that's not a book. The Five Families. I haven't finished this yet, but it's honestly going to be a, a long, arduous process. I'm, let's see. This is where I am <laughs> in this book. I'm on page 39 and there's like 700 pages. Uh, this is called The Five Families. It's the rise, decline, resurgence of America's most powerful mafia empires. I like mafia movies, mobster movies, so this is pretty interesting, but it is more like a history book, honestly. So it's a little harder for it to like keep my attention, but look how big it is. I will eventually finish it, I think. It's just, might take a little bit of time. Oh, what is this? Oh, Abby's, <laughs> Okay. Action Bronson's Fuck It, I'll Start Tomorrow. This is a like 10 out of 10 if you're an Action Bronson fan. If you're not an Action Bronson fan, I mean, you could buy it, I think. I think it's pretty funny, but if you don't know his sense of humor and you don't know Action Bronson, he's a musician, he's a rapper, and he's also a painter, and he also hosts this show that I love called Fuck That's Delicious. It's one of my most favorite shows, and it's just him and his buddies eating good food all around the world, and their commentary is crazy. So if you know who Action Bronson is, I would suggest getting it. I would suggest getting it even if you don't like Action Bronson, but it's cut. I think you kind of need to know his sense of humor and who he is before you would like really enjoy this book. But I, I really loved it. It was really good. It was a really quick read too. Lucy Foley, The Guest List. This was really, really good. If you like a mystery, romance, like all kinds of stuff, the guest list, it's literally got everything for you in here. It's a thriller. It says you'd kill to be on it. It's such a good, it's a twisty book. You never know what's gonna happen next. And I think you guys would really enjoy this, The Guest List. The Housewives, the real story behind Real Housewives. Now, honestly, if you are not a Real Housewives fan, I don't think you should buy it because it would be no point. But I love Housewives and I think this book was pretty good. I would give it maybe like a seven out of 10, a six out of 10, if I like seven if I'm being generous. It just wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. I enjoyed it enough, but it's kind of hard to get the how like the current housewives to talk or certain housewives to talk because like Bravo kind of runs them and if they want to participate in Bravo events, 
even if they've been fired or they're not, you know, currently a housewife, they have to like stay hush hush about uh, Real Housewives stuff because Bravo pretty much owns them. So it was okay. I enjoyed it enough, but you know, you kind of have to like Housewives. And there's like another Housewives book coming out and I just, I think that's one and done. I know enough about Housewives. I don't need to read like a book on it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then I have, lastly, I have Catch and Kill by Ronan Farrow. This is very, very interesting. Lies, spies, and a conspiracy to protect predators. Ronan Farrow is Mia Farrow's son and Woody Allen's son. And Woody Allen, I don't know if you know about him. Just look him up. Um, he's got some allegations about him. Um, and... I'm not going to get all the way into that because then they could yellow this video. But uh, this book is basically about Harvey Weinstein and how people like literally enabled his behavior for so long. And Ronan really investigated. This is such a well-written book. I really enjoyed it. I couldn't put it down. It was very interesting, very gripping. It had everything. It was, you know, investigative. It's all true stories. Like, it's just, it's very, very interesting. But it's about um, uh, Harvey Weinstein and his downfall. So if you're interested in that, definitely read it. It was, I could not put it down. I could not. Uh, and one second, and I'm going to take you to my other bookshelf. Oh my goodness. This is the current book I'm reading. It's called Men Who Hate Women. From incels to pickup artists, the truth about extreme misogyny and how it affects us all. I haven't gotten super far in it. I'm on page nine, so I'm going to uh, reserve my rating until I finish it. <laughs> all right, here are my books over here. Let's see. Aziz Ansari's Modern Romance. I really enjoyed it. Aziz Ansari is a comedian. He kind of talks about dating in a really funny way. I enjoyed that a lot. The Corrections by Jonathan Franzen. This is a pretty good book. Um, anything written by Jonathan Franzen is like a thumbs up for me. I really enjoy his writing. It is a pretty thick book, but um, I definitely give this like a 9 out of 10. And then we have The Goldfinch here. This has also been adapted into like a screenplay, into a show or series or movie on Amazon. So you could check that out after you read the book. Very beautiful writing. I really enjoyed it. Here's another one of the Housewives books. Um, it's, I got an extra one. So <laughs> I just put it over here. Uh, where the Crawdads Sing. I honestly haven't finished this. And you want to know why? Because Abel puked in it. So I haven't finished it. I could not give you a rating on that. If I, even if I wanted to. I have Two Nations. This is a very interesting book. Black, White, Separal, Hostile, Unequal. Kind of. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's very informative. Oh no. It's very informative about race relations in the United States. And if y'all see dust and dog hair on this counter, y'all should understand that I have a beautiful dog and how difficult it can be to keep up with his hair sometimes. I'll Be Gone in the Dark is a really great thriller book it's true story the catch of the golden state killer it's also a series on hbo i highly recommend both michelle mcnamara the author god rest her soul she's passed has since passed away but and she was unable to finish the book and she was unable to um catch this man but she actually helped catch him in the process of investigating the case and all these things and it, it's kind of sad that she didn't get to see it happen but um you know I, I i think it was a really really great book and she was an incredible woman and her writing is top notch i give this 10 out of 10. the bell jar this is one of my most favorite books it's by sylvia plath it's about a, a girl who becomes depressed and ends up spending time in a mental institution and it's one of my favorite books. 
Siddhartha, I haven't finished this. <laughs> I haven't even read it, but I have it. Uh, Jack Kerouac, The Subterraneans. And Pick. This is my best friend. She bought me this book for Christmas one year. I really enjoyed it. I have Junkie by William Burroughs. And honestly, it's very hard to read, so I don't suggest it. Um, he was a heroin addict, and he lived a crazy life. If you're ever interested in, you know, crazy documentary or crazy person, William Burroughs, he's your guy. To Kill a Mockingbird, that's, you know, a classic book. These are all classic books that I have, like, from my mom. To Kill a Mockingbird, Animal Farm, Valley of the Dolls, Bluebeard by Kurt Vonnegut, uh, the Great Gatsby and True Grit. Now down here, I have this book called I Love Dick. And it's not what you think it is. It's about this man named Dick. And um, it's unrequited love. It's pretty good. Uh, then I have Freedom by Jonathan Franzen. 10 out of 10. Really, really great book. Boys in the Trees. A memoir by Carly Simon. She's a musician. It was pretty interesting. If you don't know who Carly Simon is, I, you know, maybe don't read it. <laughs> I have Tara Road, and I'm going to be honest with you, I have not read this. Uh, I got this at, like, a neighborhood, like, library. Like, one of those, like, take one, leave one libraries. So, I have no comment, no opinion. <laughs> Wise Blood by Flannery O'Connor. It's a southern gothic novel. It's pretty good. Um, a little difficult to read. Brain on Fire. This is really good. This is a true story. Uh, she had this illness. And it literally, her brain was literally like on fire. Like I'm not even joking. It, it was like her brain was, I don't remember all of it. But it's a crazy tale. Like it's a real story. It's also uh on netflix it's a movie on netflix um that chloe grace uh, montez or martinez or whatever she's in it americana by chamanda negozia uh this is a really great book uh anything by chamanda is amazing you know the song flawless by beyonce the woman who's speaking in it that's chamanda so she's a really great writer a tree grows in brooklyn it's, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a novel that's very popular. It's like a, one of those like books that, I don't know, it's like, it's one of those important novels that everyone should read. It's pretty good. You can read it if you want. If you don't, doesn't matter. <laughs> Truman Capote's Breakfast at Tiffany's, and there's some other short stories in here of his. Um, I highly suggest reading it. Um, it's one of my favorite movies, but... The movie is different than the book. So if you're looking at it as like, it's gonna be the same as the movie, it is not. So just a warning there. Middle Sex by Jeffrey. Um, this one is pretty good too. He's the one that wrote The Virgin Suicides and this is a very interesting book as well. I have Sister Outsider by Audre Lorde. I have not finished this. It's a poetry book. Play It As It Lays by Joan Didion. This is a really good book. Uh, this is also in You, season two. Yeah, that's why I bought it. <laughs> uh, why Not Me by Mindy Kaling. I really enjoy her writing. She's really cool. Um, and so it's a real quick, easy read. She's funny. I, like, I enjoyed it a lot. The Kestrel Waters. This is like a Southern Gothic novel. It's pretty good. And Every Tiny Grain of Sand. This is a book of prayers for children, and my granny gave it to me when I was younger, and I have kept it. There's an inscription in there that she wrote to me, so I will keep this forever because it's very important. This is just a family photo album. Here we go. Okay, now this is my favorite book of all time. Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, my most favorite favorite book it is pretty beat up because I've read it so many times I highly highly suggest it it's also a movie um, in the 90s it's based off of a true story and it's 
so so good I love this book love 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 this book I have the beautiful and the damned by F Scott Fitzgerald he wrote um, he wrote the great Gatsby let me tell you something this is Caroline Manzo she is a uh, she's a housewife I think I got this at like a garage sale for like a buck or two um, buy it if you like Caroline Manzo or if you find it for a buck or two then buy it but if not you know you probably don't need to watch you probably don't need to read it uh, not that kind of girl by Lena Dunham Lena Dunham initially I didn't know she was gonna be such a problematic you know person and this book is pretty problematic uh, just look into it yourself uh, I bought it so long ago. I bought it when it first came out, and it's because I really liked her show Girls, which, is, looking back, not the best show, but just look into it. Don't buy it. <laughs> uh, Game of Thrones, self-explanatory, never finished this. Uh, the picture of Dorian Gray, I think I stole this from a library, um, and I have not read it. <laughs> I Am Malala, this is a really good book as well. It's about that young pa Pakistani girl who was shot by the Taliban because she was uh, going to school. And it's her harrowing detail of everything. She's a, an amazing inspiration. Milk and Honey, this is uh, Rupi Kaur, uh, her poetry, which is usually on Instagram everywhere. In Cold Blood, this is my mom's favorite book. It's another book by Truman Capote. It's a true story, and it's very, very captivating. Tina Fey, Bossy Pants. Uh, she is a writer. She was on SNL. She's a comedian. She's great. This is her memoir. I really enjoyed it. The Misadventures of Awkward Black Girl by Issa Rae. I love Issa Rae, and I love this book. She is so funny. Issa from Insecure on HBO she's the best I cannot stress this book is just so good I could not put it down I finished it literally in a day and then this will only hurt a little by busy Phillips and this is her memoir and I really enjoyed it as well she talked about a lot of hard things in her life and just how she's persevered and I really enjoyed it so that is my book collection kind of went through it pretty quickly I didn't want to like spend a whole lot of time you know breaking everything down because we'd be here for hours but that's my book collection if you have any questions about any books that you saw please put them down in the comment section down below let me know what your guys' favorite books are I hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe turn those post notifications on go check out the Emin Vaughn channel go subscribe over there and go check out Vaughn's personal channel Vaughn vs Everybody go check him out Subscribe to him, and that's it. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Mwah, mwah, mwah.